So, you want to learn bookkeeping. Talking quizzes. By Dave Marshall. The only business transactions which are entered in accounting records are those which can be expressed in monetary terms. The only business transactions which are entered in accounting records are those which can be expressed in monetary terms. True. A transaction which causes a decrease in an asset may also cause an increase in another asset, a decrease in a liability, or a decrease in owner's equity. A transaction which causes a decrease in an asset may also cause an increase in another asset, a decrease in a liability, or a decrease in owner's equity. True. The ledger is called the book of original entry because it is the accounting record where transactions are first recorded. The ledger is called the book of original entry because it is the accounting record where transactions are first recorded. False the journal is the book of original entry. A trial balance proves that all transactions were correctly journalized and posted to the ledger. A trial balance proves that all transactions were correctly journalized and posted to the ledger. False a trial balance only proves that the debits amounts equal the credit amounts. The matching principle matches revenue earned with the assets that produce the revenue. The matching principle matches revenue earned with the assets that produce the revenue. False the matching principle matches revenues with expenses. The accounting standards and concepts used in the preparation of financial statements are called Certified Principles of Accounting CPA. The accounting standards and concepts used in the preparation of financial statements are called Certified Principles of Accounting CPA. False the standards are called Generally Accepted Accounting Principles GAAP. The book value of an asset is equal to the asset's cost less accumulated depreciation. The book value of an asset is equal to the asset's cost less accumulated depreciation. True. The statement of cash flows is another name for the income statement. The statement of cash flows is another name for the income statement. False. Dividends paid increase expenses. Dividends paid increase expenses. False. An account will have a credit balance if the debit balance amounts exceed the credit balance amounts. An account will have a credit balance if the debit balance amounts exceed the credit balance amounts. False an account will have a debit balance if the debit balance amounts exceed the credit balance amounts. The normal balance of any account is the side which increases that account. The normal balance of any account is the side which increases that account. True. The unearned revenue account is classified as an asset. The unearned revenue account is classified as an asset. False the unearned revenue account is classified as a liability. When a collection is made on accounts receivable, total assets will remain the same. When a collection is made on accounts receivable, total assets will remain the same. True. The right side of an account is the debit side. The right side of an account is the debit side. False the right side of an account is the credit side. An adjusting entry affects a balance sheet account and an income statement account. An adjusting entry affects a balance sheet account and an income statement account. True. Under the accrual basis of accounting, cash must be received before revenue is recognized. Under the accrual basis of accounting, cash must be received before revenue is recognized. False under the cash basis of accounting, cash must be received before revenue is recognized. A post-closing trial balance will show only income statement accounts. A post-closing trial balance will show only income statement accounts. False a post-closing trial balance will show only balance sheet statement accounts. A credit to a liability account indicates a decrease in the amount owed to creditors. A credit to a liability account indicates a decrease in the amount owed to creditors. False a credit to a liability account indicates an increase in the amount owed to creditors. A company that receives money in advance of performing a service debits cash and credits unearned fees. A company that receives money in advance of performing a service debits cash and credits unearned fees. True. The time period assumption states that the economic life of a business can be divided into artificial time periods. The time period assumption states that the economic life of a business can be divided into artificial time periods. True. The difference between the cost of a depreciable asset and its related accumulated depreciation is referred to as the book value of the asset. The difference between the cost of a depreciable asset and its related accumulated depreciation is referred to as the book value of the asset. True. An item is considered material if it is likely to influence the decision of an investor or creditor. An item is considered material if it is likely to influence the decision of an investor or creditor. 
True. In a periodic inventory system, inventory and cost of goods sold accounts are kept up to date throughout the accounting period. In a periodic inventory system, inventory and cost of goods sold accounts are kept up to date throughout the accounting period. False in a perpetual inventory system, inventory and cost of goods sold accounts are kept up to date throughout the accounting period. When using a perpetual inventory system, the purchases account is debited when merchandise is acquired. When using a perpetual inventory system, the purchases account is debited when merchandise is acquired. False when using a perpetual inventory system, the inventory account is debited when merchandise is acquired. An advantage to the LIFO method of accounting for inventory is that it values the cost of goods sold at current replacement costs. An advantage to the LIFO method of accounting for inventory is that it values the cost of goods sold at current replacement costs. True. Accumulated depreciation is considered a liability because it has a credit balance. Accumulated depreciation is considered a liability because it has a credit balance. False accumulated depreciation is considered a contra-asset account.